just won the national championship in each of the last two years, but he's going to have to do it with a new quarterback this year. Will it be Carson Beck or Brock Vandegrift? Good news is he's got another Brock, one of the best players in all of college football is back. Brock guys stand a little closer. Jared Zirkle kicks it to Dylan Bell, but Bell is going to take off even without the football and run back past the 25, and they're going to start here at the 30-yard line. So, out so many opponents, it gave Carson a chance to get a ton of reps through 35 passes last year. And on the first play, he'll hand it off to Dejon Edwards. Edwards has been a finisher the last few years, Stinch. He could be a starter. Who are going to step up the most in that offensive backfield alongside the quarterback? Beck surveys the field. This is Cass Jones who makes the catch. Nice job of getting out to the sideline up to the 40-yard line. Experience at the tackle spot. Fake to Dejon Edwards all day for Beck to survey the field and Rosamy Jack Saint, there's a familiar face in the offense. He had a great 2022, 2022, especially when A.D. Mitchell was injured. Beck will throw a floater, and he's got Bowers in stride, and Brock goes all the way down to the goal line. And it'll be marked out inside the five-yard line. It's probably a matchup that you like regardless. You mentioned he beat Smith. Bullard is the one that saved the touchdown. There goes McConkie in motion. Edwards slips a tackle and dives down to the two. Jamon Dumas Johnson, one of those linebackers. Top line play, and Dumas Johnson leads the way. He along with Smile Munden. And on an end around, it's Arian Smith to the edge. Touchdown, red team. Junior from Bradley, Florida, who's been banged up quite a bit the last couple of years, is healthy at the beginning of 2023. Great job on the edge. Talked about Bowers earlier. Also, Oscar Delp on the edge and able to get Arian Smith out there. And Liam Badger's extra point is up and good. Black team will get the football for the first time today. And they will continue to run from the goal line, just show off this talent and the speed. This is Makai Muse. And that's 98 yards. They're not letting them field the kicks, but they're letting them run for the goal line. Stitch, see what their kickoff team looks like. You can see Coach Smart. He's walking back up saying, yeah, 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 that, that's good. But uh, we're going to start this from the 30. Nice run. Now let's see the black team on offense. That's exactly right. <laughs> we're not making this a special teams exhibition. You could see right there, easily would have been tackled. was a tag off. That's a whole lot of extra running. But hey, man, you know, make it count, right? Sophomore from Grayson, Georgia, I'm last year. Brock Vandergriff's turn. Rolling out, throwing underneath, and getting drilled. On the first play is Lawson Lucky. Beck, Bennett, Daniels, and a bunch of others the last couple of years. He'll take off, show off his speed. Maybe this will help him win the job. He's on to the other side of the field. The mobility at quarterback more and more. Mr. Georgia a couple of years ago in high school. Fakes the handoff, wants to throw the deep ball, and down there's Jackson Meeks. The flag comes in. E.J. Harris. So down near the 30, and just a swing pass out here to Roderick Robinson, a true freshman from Imperial, California. You're able to kind of ramp up your production. Another touch for Robinson inside. It's now near the 22-yard line, and old-slash-new offensive coordinator Mike Bobo has told us it'll be by committee, at least at first, going into the season. As he goes in to the 16-yard line, tackled by Samuel Mpemba. He was a five. He got enough girth there to set the edge and play near the line of scrimmage. To nylon Morizette around the edge but is going to be marked out of bounds short of the 20. Did a great job of stringing that out and making the tackle. He's a number one edge prospect, according to some of the 
recruiting sites. Vandegrift, oh, he's going to be marked down. As it was Kristen Miller that was back there. And you see two oncoming rushers to move Vandegrift off his spot. Third and 17, empty backfield. Vandegrift will swing it out over there to Miles Thornton. And he'll only pick up a few. And that'll be fourth down. Great range by C.J. Allen. We're talking about place Podlesny, the kicker from last year. Maybe it'll be Jared Zirkle. This is from 42 yards away. And he sneaks it in there. Red seven, black three, 617 to go in the first quarter on a beautiful spring day. And yep, Coach Boom, and that record is going to be tough to eclipse. Oh, wow. Oh, a little flea flicker and then just an underneath pass that goes out to the sideline. Let's go down to Alyssa. So I actually asked Kirby pregame. Uh, very emphatic boom, followed by some other descriptors. <laughs> Beck rolls out wide open is Oscar Delp. Uh -oh. Maybe we'll see a lot more of him this year. Darnell Washington literally. Those run blocking schemes. Coach Bobo, the coordinator, was in that tight end room last year. Knows him well. Beck looks around, another wide open player. It's McConkey, puts his foot in the ground inside the 10, first and goal, red and team. Well, you had to know that they were going to get the lad eventually, right? And he just makes big plays. Receivers, heck of a start. An old familiar face, Savon Clark takes off, gets around the corner, and another red touchdown. Number 20, Savon Clark. Stiff arm from Clark. And Malachi starts. He's coming up in run support. And he just got denied. Nice point of attack. Able to collapse. You see Malachi Starks. He's there. He's the free hitter. He's not capable. Liam Badger makes another extra point. Reds up. And we're back at the G Day spring game. Ooh. Big hit on uh -oh. Zeed Haynes near out of bounds. Week nine in the XFL continues tonight on ESPN2 is out there. We were talking about him at the beginning of the show, Stinch. Maybe he's got a crack at this with Beck and Vandegrift. Gives up a little bit of size. He's pressured and he'll throw over to the sideline. He's 6'1, 210 pounds, two, three inches shorter than Vandegrift for Beck. Show that on the scout team a good bit more too because things are breaking down. It's not designed to work in practice. They always have lauded his accuracies. Roderick Robinson goes ahead for a few, years, a few yards. I realize this is high school ball, but he was the gut. Couldn't slow him down. And it wasn't as if he's throwing to uh, all elite players. Over from Tiger, Georgia, underneath throw, incomplete, and good coverage there too by A.J. Harris who had Tyler Williams bottled up. So it's fourth. Melbourne, Australia punter punts it deep to Dominic Lovett, the Mizzou transfer. First time he's touched the ball, they'll whistle him down just near the 30-yard line. Austin Blasky kind of double duty in it. Blasky's in there now. We'll uh, talk a little bit about him, Austin Blasky, as he follows Ka Cash or he blocks for Cash Jones. Like, hey, man. This guy's over here arguing with me about calls because he knows them. Yeah. He knows what it's supposed to look like at center. He, he was great on that. Uh, Delp gets a step, but lost it. Looked like in the yeah. sun. It's shining down on him right now. But you're right. Otherwise, it was an unblemished passing performance for Carson Beck prior to that throw. Gets back on track with an underneath throw. Caught by Dominic Lovett, that Mizzou transfer go off against South Carolina last yeah. year when he played for Missouri 148 yards receiving in that game Beck throws the ball and it's complete to Bell Dylan Bell in traffic too goes up and gets it for 30 yards Georgia yeah you're shaking your head over there it's the hardest thing in the world to get the first one they get the next one the next year Cash Jones makes a catch stays on his feet gets inside the 20 yard line isn't that true? Larry Munson country. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Straight ahead goes Cass Jones down to the 10-yard line, down to Miss Lang. 
Yeah, guys, I know coming into this Google. game, the offense is size, uncomplicated communication, which is something that I think doesn't get a lot of credit throughout the offseason going into the regular season right in the SEC. you got to make sure those guys are communicating clearly. No doubt. I mean, that's a big piece of it. You know, these guys, it's not just play the technique, et cetera. How do you play with inside linebackers? Great communicators. Your safeties, they should be excellent communicators. Back. A minute over the middle touchdown to Arian Smith. One rushing, one receiving for Arian. Nine completions already for Beck. Three extra points by Badger. And the Reds out front 21 to three here in the early going in the second quarter. The NFL draft is a couple of weeks. Those dogs you saw getting rings are getting ready for top 10 pick. Get back to that graphic in a second. Broderick Jones also expected to be a first rounder. Nice rollout there by Stockton finding Jackson Meeks. Meeks about his football team, he's fired up. I said, how's the journey been for you? He's like, it's a little bit stressful. I'm ready for it to be over. I just want to know where my new home's going to be. Wherever that is, you're getting a hell of a player in Chris Smith. I think you're getting a hell of a player in Lawson Lucky. He might be the next big tight end. For you know, victory lap type all-star games for these high schoolers. He wanted to stay here and practice with this program, and he made a very positive impression on his teammates. Took a hit from Ja'Cory Thomas. Good catch by Meeks, and he's down. He's not wow. down yet. He's fighting the whole red team all the way to the end zone. And they're going to give him a touchdown. I like the finish to wonder, you know, what element of the rules, et cetera. Maybe they're waiting for a whistle here on their own teammate. How about the push, though? The entire offense is behind him to work his way into the end zone. It's got to win Brownie po points with Mike Bobo, doesn't it? Scrum, right? Cover down. And the extra point by Zirkel gives the black team their first touchdown of the day. Back Savon Clark on the first play gets tackled by Julian Humphrey behind the line of scrimmage. Definitely flashed at times as a true freshman. Kind of flipped even during his commitment. You know, he was committed to Georgia, then he was committed to AM, then he committed back to Georgia. And you can see the fluidity, we'll call it, of these rosters. Unsurprising given the level at which they recruit here at the University of Georgia. That's not necessarily separate and apart from these other guys, but what could be a special player that's entering the portal. And I want to ask you more about the defensive line because we just showed you Jalen Carter could be one of the first picks taken in the draft as that back shoulder pass won't work. He was looking for Dylan Carter. It's not like you just plug and play. Muse, who returned a kick for a touchdown, and Kirby Smart decided it didn't count. He returns a punt this time past midfield going back to that defensive line Zion Lowe who is going to be that player that could change the pocket especially in passing downs inside out Stockton dumps it off to Lucky and Lucky's wrestled out of bounds you know all his uh, family members yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course uh, played with his dad his dad also his dad Mike he was he found his way onto the field earliest it was really a hard-nosed inside linebacker. You can see some of those traits. And Lawson Lucky, physical player at tight end. Stockton hands it off to Roderick Robinson. He's a big, physical-looking tailback. Six foot, 235 pounds from Imperial, California. Yeah. For Lincolnton High School, he had eight rushing touchdowns against Matter Day. Wow. How about that? Over 400 yards rushing in that game, too. Tyler Williams, <laughs> another freshman, takes the football in this play. Come on, casual. Over 400 yards rushing. Yeah, what a big deal. Yeah, it was a subtext. Really won the state championship in football and a good basketball player. There's Miles Thornton banging off of defenders down to the 46. But the offensive front holding up relatively well with a couple of new faces, especially at those tackle spots. Let's see what Stockton does on a third and five. He's got time. He's going to throw the one-on-one -on -one ball, and that is perfect back shoulder to Zeed Haynes. Is Zeed Haynes.
That ball is deflected off a defender. Can you bounce back and play the next play? Don't let one play turn into two. Robinson carries the defense inside the 10. Mark down at the seven. It'll be first and goal. Robinson does a great job of getting downhill right now. We hadn't seen it early. Robinson again. And you can tell the defense has had enough of these extra effort runs. Raylan Wilson, fast defensive player, stayed with that football perfectly, yeah. made the tackle. I like him a lot as well, yes. Got to be careful with these guys. Here comes the edge, and it's a touchdown run for Gunnar Stockton. <laughs> Gunner showing off that speed at 6'1", 210 pounds. See Lawson Lucky crossing the formation, getting out there on the edge. And maybe a little tug there, right? Gets away with it in the spring game. <laughs> yeah. That was being observed. Black team mounting the comeback. Bad snap and hold, and the ball and the kick is no good. By Zirkel, Thorson had some trouble. Here's Stockton going around the edge for, well, what you missed was another great Brock Bowers catch that you've been seeing the last three years in Athens, Georgia. Analyzed perfectly by Matt Stinchcomb. Look at this catch. I mean, that's his signature. That's what he does. He jumps up. It's like a pirouette's not a great enough one. all the time now, it seems like. He's getting the Mackey Award today. Beck throws this one underneath, and it's caught by Cash Jones. Coach Mike Bobo's offense. Been the success that they've had, you know. Maybe one of the more important precepts offensively. Know thyself. What do you do well? What has worked for you? Well, this has. Of course, Coach Bobo will have his fingerprints on this offense. We coordinated Georgia before, South Carolina, Auburn. This is underneath, and it's caught by Dejon Edwards out of the backfield, and he gets inside the 35. It's not like they didn't throw the football here the last time. Mike Bobo is the offensive play caller. Beck going deep and lots of coverage there. Malachi Starks all over Dominic Lovett. There's the other boom, Will Muschamp. Co-defensive court. But now they, they never come off. 51-yard field goal attempt for Liam Badger. Badger. Transfer from Kennesaw State. See what kind of leg he's got. Can he curl it in there? He can. Wow. Just a slight baby draw. <laughs> he uses the win to his advantage. And Georgia's red team now leads 27 to 16. 20, excuse me, 24 to 16. Break this down. You've been talking golf. You were in Augusta. Look at that thing just sneak in. Well, wow. listen, I mean, if you're going to play at the best courses in Georgia, you have to have a little baby draw. That's what Bob Jones always said. Got to be able to play the play it from right to left. And Probably a commute issue. <laughs> Connor Stockton's best is to deny on Morizette for a few. Our NBA playoff game one quadruple header continues. Reference the Mariners, the Sea Hawks, the Sea Dragons. Making up mythical beasts over there. There is water in Seattle. Yeah. Nylon Morizette again, just short of the 40 at the 39 oh, yard line. It is a busy in that league now. Give you an opportunity to try to com continue to play professionally as Roderick Robinson goes ahead to the 44 yard line. The XFL's had a terrific year this year in terms of how much attention. A little situational football here and hurrying things up after picking up the first down under a minute to play. First and 10, Stockton throws and he steps into it perfectly to Muse and he's off to the races inside the 20, getting some blocks down inside the five. How about Muse here in the first half? Now a couple of them have been on returns that probably would have been whistled dead. 
Nice pocket this time, drives that ball in there. Like Terrell Foster might have been able to get a hand on it. Instead, Muse, boy, he's taking advantage of his opportunities. Georgia winning the national championship in each of the last two years. Delay of game, off delay number 14 of game five yard penalty. penalty. Here, First interesting down. Kirby Smart telling us yesterday that if you want to win a national championship, you can't think of. That balance of the room's gone. We don't get to keep these rosters year over year. Well, they're going to give the defense the win on that one. Damon Wilson got, got to Stockton. So now Mark back at the 12, 25 seconds to go in the half. Stockton throws over the head of Jackson Meeks. More opportunities here. They talked about this in practice. Just used it. Bottom line is be smart with the football, especially when you have a sport scoring opportunity at the end of the half. We knew what you meant. Stockton, it's deflected and in incomplete, almost intercepted. Jordan Hall got his hand on it. Twenty-four nineteen the score. Well, there haven't been many that have gone 15 and 0 or better since we've gone to this college football playoff. Struck and half is underway with the black team running it at the red team. Roderick Robinson running it. Nine different receivers. Just crazy efficient. Part of it's because the protection has been outstanding. Roderick Robinson making the catch. Pressure here coming at Gunner. Let's see how he handles it. Gets it out of there All quickly. Right, quick, good. Yep. Got a completion. It's another completion for us. That's good. But I like seeing them interact. We're a big group, you know, and we try to get them to do that. So, oh, good play right there. Ooh. Forward. Freshman right there, Joe Nails. A great play by him. He's a really physical player. I was going to say, defense looked a little better there, huh? <laughs> at least that play, you know? Uh, a dad that played here. He's one of the toughest guys I've been around as far as playing football. He does a really good job of that. So it's fun to be around him. I tell you, he's, he, he's a kid that took advantage of he didn't go play in all these all-star games. He just said, I'll stay here and practice with the Georgia Bulldogs. So he had 15 to 20 practices of semifinals and uh, the finals game player during that time, too. He's a scout team tight end, and all the older players were like, dang, who is this dude? Throughout spring in this game today, is there anyone else who has jumped out at you and really impressed you for their play so far? No, oh, oh, you're good, Coach. Coach got a coach. We're going to let him go for a second. I tell people all the time, Makai Muse has made more plays on the scout team the last two years against great defenses now. Great defenses. He's gone out there and made a bunch of plays, and he's it's paying off today because he plays every day against one of the best defenses in the country, and he's not afraid to go out there and play. I appreciate the time and the access. Enjoy the rest of the scrimmage today. Awesome. Thank you guys for the coverage. We love it. Thank yeah, you. we do too. That, that was terrific, both of you there. I have a question for you, Alyssa. What is it like having Ty Ingram Dawkins running at full speed right at you? <laughs> Pretty terrifying. Brock Vandegrift comes back in at quarterback and swings it out there to the sideline to Dom Lovett. And there is right. why Coach Smart likes the mid year enrollee from Mizzou. Indeed. But also somebody can get the ball too quickly. Plenty of time to survey the field. Almost picked off. It is. Tyke Smith makes the pick. Well, Coach Smart was talking about how where are the takeaways? We haven't seen one. There it is. Tyke Smith. He's largely been hampered with injury. So it's been a little bit more limited in the way he can impact this defense underneath that route. Great job of high point that football coming down with it for the first take over in the passing game. Let's see if Smith can make the big jump at Georgia in his senior season. Nice slant on a bullet there caught by Andrew Correa. Now Stockton throws upstairs incomplete. Kirby, Kirby never stops coaching. This is just a second ago. And you're latching. That's almost like an offensive lineman in panic mode. You can't do that up front as a defensive lineman. Grant Briscoe makes the catch.
you see him kind of trying to play off that block. It's washed down a little bit. Pad level's a big thing, especially. Stockton has that one batted down at the line of scrimmage. It's Jordan Hall. I think it was Jordan Hall again. It's the second time he's done that. Gunner Stockton in there. We talked about stature. I wonder if height plays an issue. You got to find those throwing lanes. Punting on fourth down. And it's caught just outside the five yard line. Beautiful breezy day in Sanford. Russ Moore, our spotter, is having his head on a swivel today. Has Vandergriff, <laughs> have Vandergriff and Stockton played for both teams? Stockton's played for, for uh, roster fluidity. <laughs> Welcome to 2023. Vandergriff, quick throw. This complete to CJ Smith. Boy, the dogs have a bunch nearing the end of the third quarter. And this handoff goes to Cass Jones, and Jones has nowhere to go. It's going to be a loss on the play for a couple. Certainly amped up the effort, not just with the takeaway. And DeGriff, incomplete to CJ. What have you seen from the quarterbacks today, Stench? Well, I do think that, you know, we talk about car season in previous years. That's probably the first procedure penalty we've seen. Black team's offsides, free play. It's intercepted. It's not going to count, though. Javon Bullard made the grab. And you're all right with that. Or to solidify that element, they won't have any question marks coming out of this program. That's up in traffic and incomplete. Tried to thread it in there to Braxton Hicks. The wire. Missouri seems to. Uh, be a bit of a revolving door at quarterback as well. There's not a lot of known commodities at the QB position coming into this season. I mean, other than, you know, maybe a South. Scouts are in love with the size and the stature of the former Florida quarterback. And off on the last play of the third quarters, we go to the fourth, third and eight for Georgia. And the black team, Carson Beck, was playing for the red. Now he's playing for the black. Now he's got a free play. And he just throws it away. He's dead. Playing with the black offensive front, the black team, with a different unit. And that was a good ball right there to Tyler Williams, a good-looking true freshman from Lakeland, Florida. Had a little zip on that one. Back to the air, a little dump off underneath to Anthony Evans, the third, the freshman from Converse, Texas. Has lost and lucky more than anybody else. Jonel Aguera had a big hit earlier in the third quarter. We heard about him a lot. He's not going to get a lot of looks. From Massachusetts, too. The player of the year up there in Massachusetts. Beck put it on the numbers there to Williams. He couldn't make the grab. Time Julian Humphrey. I'll give a. Sh this is Brett Thorson punting. You know, go into the end zone. Henry Bates had a phenomenal punt last time, by the way. Give him a shout out. That went 53 yards. The spring football season is going to wrap up. The returners that they have, you would like to say LSU. LSU had a really kind of a weird year a season ago. Good ball there, yeah. complete to Arian Smith, who has a. They, they, they mark that incompletion. It is, to me, the game of the year in college football. Holy moly, what a hit. That is a big one made by number six, Everett. Playoff. That was the best game, most tightly contested. Unbelievable finish. Obviously, from Georgia's perspective, a great one. You see, ultimately, a sack there. Slower developing, getting that ball out after the big hit by Everett. But you're right, it does seem like those programs could easily be on. And at some point during the game, Coach Schumann said, go over and play for the black. That was the reason for my hesitation is because the black team didn't have a number six when the game started. <laughs> but everybody knows who Dalen Everett is. And at quarterback throws it to the bench. The NFL draft is in a couple of weeks, April 27th through the 29th, all three of those days, every last year. And how did they respond? They won the national championship. Stockton hands it off to Miles Thornton and, excuse me, to Roderick Robinson, and he's at midfield. 
Stinched, I don't know that talent is going to be a problem for Georgia. Leadership. Who are who's not scared to hold his teammates accountable and, and whose comments they respect. You see flushed out of the pocket is Gunnar Stockton once again. Damon Wilson. A guy that we heard his name mention a lot. You know, this is another one of these newcomers. A lot of kind of charisma. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of time for Vandegrift to throw incomplete. So that's just not easy to plug and play. And you want your best players to be your leaders, ideally, right? You want the guys that are out there playing, the guys that are advice. And it has to be authentic. You know, it can't be something that's forced. Guys know that. Nice move by Cass Jones to get up the field near a first down marker. Well, Kirby Smart highlighted a bunch of the terrific quarterback. Here's another end around to Smith. He scored a touchdown on that play earlier in the game, not this time. Down to Alyssa. You guys were just talking about the leadership aspect. Handicappers. I'd like to know the media member who actually said that. Oh, Whoa. it's picked off off the carom by Raylan Wilson to the house. That ball went through Anthony Evans, and Wilson ran into the end zone with it. In the second half, coming in hot. See, maybe takes the eyes off a little bit. Like maybe Evans was looking for the big hit, and instead, Traylon Wilson going the other way. We talk about, you know. I can't debate him there because I don't, not yeah. allowed by my family to use that, thankfully. <laughs> for the protection of all involved, you can't have TikTok. Week nine in the NF in the XFL continues tonight on ESPN two and he is the head coach. Yes, he there. is. Yeah. One of our former colleagues. Vandegrift gets out of bounds past the 30 with just over two minutes to go in the game. Interesting afternoon for Brock Vandegrift, right? Uh, you know, it wasn't as clean as he would have wanted it. I'm sure uh, some throws back, of course, the pick earlier. Kind of like the the backyard all-time quarterback deal. Oh, it's another ball that's deflected. Goes off of Roderick Robinson. Did you not make the catch? But you can't tip the ball up when you're over the middle. It's when everyone holds their collective breath because that's easily a pick, and a lot of times a pick going the other way. It's got plenty of time. Slings it out complete to Muse again. What a game he's had today. He needed on that one, didn't he? he? Did all that running. Coach Smart wanted to see how the team looked on offense. Cole Spear, the intended receiver there. A man, Mr. Kevin. Where you know, they haven't really tried to target him. I think he just has the one target in this game. Flushed throws, and they're going to whistle him as being tackled in the backfield by Jonathan Jeffers. It's third and 12. Vandegriff throws and it's incomplete to be fourth down. Yeah, the other candidate right is C.J. Stroud. A lot of people talking about him. And it, the knock has to be with Bryce is just build, right? The, the stature that he brings to the position. There's Lucky guy? again. Good grab down inside the 35 to the 34. It's been consistent all game long. Now the home run ball. Let's see if he can get it incomplete, but a flag down. Meeks got tangled up with Julian Humphrey. Griff into traffic and it's incomplete with 102 to go. Change is also one of those guys that can make his presence felt. Lewis Seen, they said. Yeah. Oh, nice grab there by Muse to get down to the 10 yard line. Yeah, Aguero's got, he'd make the late great Mr. Munson. I have some things to say about him as a freshman. Amuse again, why not? He deserves it. What a game he's had today. Great throw by Vandegrift to catch him in stride. Set like Amuse looks like he might be a little gassed. He's done a little bit of everything today. You mentioned it. 
This is to Muse earlier. Great job. A little bit behind him. This time Vandegrift puts it right on the money. Good placement. Able to run, turn, catch, score. During the spring and, and all your practices with those scrimmages, but they've called the rest of the game, by the way. We're done. 31-26, the final. Playing a real game against the best team in the country, playing against each other, is extremely beneficial to your team. Yeah, no question. You heard it. Mean, he's not, Coach Mark's not interested in really playing somebody else because he knows the level of competition he can get.